Hello. Today I will replace my alternator of my old Suzuki Vitara. This is my fancy car. It's for holiday. The alternator is there down. As you see, the battery must be loaded. My battery is now at 13 volt. First, must be removed the negative pole from the battery. This prevents accidental shorts during replacement. Must not touch any metal. Wire connections must be removed. One is away. Can you see? To put the gummy from the positive pole away. With the number 10 tool, can open uh, the positive uh, pole. Now the positive pole is off with the screw inside. The under bolt with this key. One bolt is off, now the second bolt is away. It's a shorter bolt, is on the behind side. Now to open the screw from this part. To move the alternator out, I need to remove this part here. Now I could move it out. This is the new alternator. As you see here, three pins. Very important to check that you have the same uh, amount of pins as you have had in your old. This is for the positive pole. I'm going to install the alternator into the motor. Here is coming the belt. Here is the connection for the positive pole. The other side of the alternator you see the socket for the plug it has three pin. Make attention when your old motor has three pins that you get a new one also with three pins. It gives motors with only one pin and it doesn't work. First you put the plug here, this one. into the socket Now it fits. Now the belt is on, the screw also, and the cable for the positive pole is fixed. Now I have to fix the two screws to the alternator. For that I have to go under the car. Now the two screws under the car are installed. I have already tightened this screw and this one. Now I can start the car. The minus pole is installed, as well, this is also installed back. Let's start the motor.
The battery light doesn't burn. The birds are running properly. The voltage shows 14.2 volts. That's okay. It's very fine. And means that the alternator is loading the battery. Wonderful.